um, two seconds. I made a video about religion as well. This is the video. This, yeah, this is the video I made. Do you have a person or are you just religious? So, you know what I mean? I was speaking and I was wondering, should I have done that? Because I was Yeah, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm working on a video now. I'm calling yeah. this stuff out. I'm going to hold these people to account. Well, I say hold these people to account. What I mean is, I'm making a, I'm, I've got a friend that's working on something for me yeah. that's going to expose this hypocrisy. Of the Catholic Church? No, what's going on down here? And of, all of the Catholic Church. Well, you see... The, the ecumenical thing. The ecumenical Christianity. That, yeah. Because Jesus said the man must be born again on yeah. the heaven. And in 2 John, you're warned. Do not, if anybody comes to you and brings to you any other gospel, gospel let him be accursed. Yeah, but it says that in Galatians 1 8, but it says any other doctrine that doesn't have the doctrine of Christ, do not welcome it into your home, do not eat or drink with that person, they have not the Father nor the Son. Amen. So, you know, so how can we team up with them and do any ministry? And the Bible says, what does unbelievers have in common? What does believers have in common with well, unbelievers? Do not mix fellowship. Do not be unequally we yoked. Are unbeliever, yeah. And so right. then you team up with them and doing fellowship, doing ministry. People like, you know, Jay Smith's inviting them to speak at conferences. I Who's Jay Smith? I, I don't know. He's somebody that is very well known down here and well known online and stuff like that. But for me, I'm, I'm against it. I don't, you know, for me, I'm no respect to a person because God is no respect to a person. Yeah. I love everybody. Body. Of course, and you want and them to come to Christ. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, and if you're in Christ, whether you have, it doesn't matter how many thousands of followers you got, you are my brother or my sister, and I yeah. love you as if you only had one or two. Do you see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Jesus, yeah. they warn us in the Bible, in the book of James, and he says, don't, if somebody comes in wearing fine clothes and you revere that person and more than a poor person, man, yeah. then you become a judge, yeah. and you've become, you are, you know, and that basically warns us against that. And so it's the same. Just because you have hundreds of thousands of people that hang off your every word compared to somebody that might only have 10 or none, yeah. are you better than that person? Do you have more righteousness than that person? Mm. No. It's so God is using you, if you are born again, to glorify Him, yeah, yeah. not glorify you. you it gives you a platform. It's to glorify Him. It's not to glorify it's ourselves. Like, yeah. And so for me, I want to hear the words come out your mouth. Yeah. I want to know, I want to, you know, I'm looking at what you preach. Yeah. I'm looking at what you believe. I'm looking at the company Pop you keep. Food, yeah. I'm looking at, you know, the fruit of your life. I want, and if you're genuine, then I'm going to hear the Holy Spirit speaking Amen. through you. Yeah. And I'm going to glorify God in you. Amen. I'm not going to glorify you. Yeah. And if you are just say you have loads of head knowledge, but you don't have the gospel right, well, or you, you're endorsing false teachers, then I'm going yeah. to avoid you like the plague. And you could have a billion Followers. subscribers, yeah. like the Pope has 1.2 billion Catholics. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Well, that's, the, well, that's the world. Yeah. And we look to God, God. We don't look to the world. Well, Timothy says in the last days, the people learn but never come to the knowledge of the truth. Exactly. So you have Muslims who's coming, who's reading the Quran, but it's a historical point of view, but not coming to know that Jesus Christ is in fact well, this is my the point. Son of God. They're yeah. saying, oh, you know, they invited people like Bob to speak, at, speak at, uh, on this conference. And, uh, you know, and they don't mind, you know, teaming up with them and stuff for different reasons. I'm like, what gospel are you preaching? Yeah. If you're teaming up with Catholics, what is the gospel? So let's say you educate people on Islam. Great. We agree on that. Yes. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. what's the objective? So you want to expose Islam. What's the alternative truth are you offering them? Jesus is God. What is the gospel? The How do they get God. saved? Yeah. Yeah. Is it through the Catholic Church, works, prayers to Mary, yeah. dead saints? No. Yeah. Then why are you inviting people? people that believe that stuff mm. to team up with you to fight against yeah. Islam and then why are you trying to silence us who do speak out against this stuff because whether you be a Muslim or you be a Catholic we love you yeah. enough to want to see you get saved there's no respect for persons with God and Catholicism and Islam is both as bad as each other so why are you exposing one and not the other you're not going to have victory over the kingdom of darkness unless you expose yeah. all the darkness and yeah. preach the gospel Jesus is yeah. the light of the world Lord, therefore we need to preach him and his truth and his truth is that salvation is through by grace, grace through faith, faith in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. not of us it's a gift of words, not of no, works. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so, when you preach any other gospel, you are to be accursed. Therefore, what fellowship do we have with light and darkness? Amen. And this is and why I am against yeah. the economical movement that they well, have. I don't believe economic there. Christianity, of course, because no. Jesus said, "I'm the way, I'm the truth, the life." Nobody comes to God. Exactly. Exactly. So, if you're and then you've got yeah. Bob calling people that stand for the truth of the gospel devils. Devils. Well, yeah, standing. If with you are a sectarian, if you preach against. 
team, Catholics and Christians teaming up, you're sectarian. No, we are born again Christians. We know Jesus and we're preaching yeah. his truth. We're not sectarians. Yeah. Jesus said he came not to bring peace but a sword. He came sword, to cause yeah. division. Yeah. A mother against daughter and daughter, father, father against, against yeah. son. Do you see what I mean? And when yeah. you preach this stuff, oh, you're a sectarian. No, no we stand for the, the truth of the God's word. Let you stand before Christ on the day of your judgment when he says, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I, I didn't know you. Yeah. Let him, let you then repeat what you're saying here yeah. now. It's wicked and it's evil. And my prayer is for people to wake up and see this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's right. She's right. Yeah. Wait. But there is a very complicated different level going on with the United Kingdom as it is. Which people are starting to wake, because of the Catholic and people are starting to step out because they know the end times that are coming. You know what the Vatican's up to, you know, the whole With the Vatican, yeah, we yeah, yeah, know okay. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the World Club, UN, Arabs, Islam, all that. So there's a lot of uh, not British people waking up and different people from British colonial former Christian and others getting the gospel working things out and stepping out there's a separation of the Jesus Christ and the people who God's calling bringing out starting to unify so she's not wrong but she's also got to remember there's other people just starting to wake up and working it through to separation but my point is this if God. you're on the United Kingdom yeah, you're we're fighting someone not to the Catholic Church that's yep. the problem. If you're born again, believe he's in the Catholic, needs to come out into your Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes, yes. So yeah. there's a whole complicated level of. Well, yeah. okay. we're not saved by the nomination. Day, we don't want to go it's to but, Armageddon but, yeah. and the judgment. We want to go to the Millennium Kingdom and have a chance as a people to get that grace and protection from God yeah. to get the chance for the born again to get saved and raptured and the people to come converted in the thousand year kingdom have to be born again with the nations. Yeah. But it's a sensitive time for different people fighting the born again. Nobody's She's saying. not wrong. Nobody's saying that everybody has to be at the same level exactly. as everybody else yeah. you know well, I got saved crazy. in the Catholic Church but the Holy Spirit very quickly let me out now. of it okay so well, I'm a, who have the spirit in well the you know I do believe if that's true they're going to be led they're out of out. it but how yeah. can they know that what they're doing is not right if people don't speak up it, but, publicly but just trying to suppress it. that isn't right and also at the same time if you know the gospel and yet you keep you say for example you you work with you team we'll up with Catholics areas, yeah. and you're fighting to combat Islam what is yeah. the alternative truth for you giving them yeah. what gospel are you preaching them because you're working alongside Catholics to destroy Islam but what are you doing with that what are you trying to bring them into we need to stand for the gospel and if we stand for the gospel then we're going to preach to Catholics and Muslims and we're going to do it openly and publicly and we're not going to be respected to the people no but there's a difference between preaching to them and preaching with them and that's what I'm seeing down here in the park people preach We've got different with jobs them. to do, at different levels, yeah. So, you know, no, for me, I see the economical so movement going on through. down here is very evil. Oh, and I think Jay Smith by inviting him to speak was wrong. For the same oh, things. I understand probably what's going on. Probably. Yeah, 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 I don't know. <laughs> So I understand where you're coming from. So don't stop, but be aware, be aware there's a separation with the United Kingdom and people. Yeah, need but to come you know, but this up. is the thing we need to. It doesn't matter. Like the world, God's judgment is coming on the world, and the only way we can, we, the only way we can, the only way we can help anybody is to preach the gospel. We need to spring them out of the kingdom of darkness and into the light. And we're not going to do that by teaming up with people that are still in darkness in, themselves. In, in regardless of whether we, yeah, regardless of whether we share commonalities to do with yeah, Islam, abortion or anything yeah, but, else. Yeah, but there is and so therefore we can't, we can't, we can preach to them, we can show them love and we can do everything we can to help them, but we can't work alongside them. But not that's what's going on down here. Not all of it. And then when you see, they tell you don't fight against, they class Christian, Catholics as Christian and they tell you not to expect so you have usually people like Catholics sitting there on their corners with their posters and their Mary idols and then they're trying to recruit people into the church and then you have people down here that tell you that when you confront these people and expose them for being heretics and not Christians when you, when you do that you're a sectarian or you're uh, of the devil that's what they accuse us of but we need
need to expose that to stop other people from being You can't be doing that, but there's, trust me, there's people know what they're doing. Some are not, some are don't, but some do know what they're doing. Well, let's, no, I think if you team up with Catholics, you don't know what, not you, in general, this is a generalised comment. I'm for you, 100% for you. Yeah. Well, beware, there's lots of sensitive people that sometimes need a bit of... Yeah, that's so fine, that's fine, but then the, the, the people that endorse this stuff, they need to be called out for their heresy. Islamic Isa is a Jesus, is a Nazi Jesus. Where Muhammad is made him better than himself Jesus, so he's a fault, he's, 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 he's a fault, he's, 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 he's made himself better than Jesus. He's an Antichrist, where they put Isa as a false prophet. He's an Isa false prophet. Yeah, and Catholicism is... So it's parallel. Catholicism is Jesus. It's the same. It's the same. I know really deep stuff about it, trust me. Yeah, so, and that's why we need to speak, we need to speak out. We need to speak out. Don't and suppose what we're doing, but just because there's people being sensitive. Yeah, yeah be but you know, people. but that's because people want to suppress the truth and they want us to be quiet and they don't like that they're publicly being exposed and they don't like it. And so, well, I have been doing that. So, you know, um, I'll stand up here and tell you about it. I get persecution all the time anyway. I'm not worried about persecution. I'm, I'm used to it. So they had guns and bullets. Yeah, it was for Jesus. Jesus is our strength. But, you know, I just think to myself, like, some of the people down here, they could do so much good if they stopped teaming up with heritage like Bob or Sam and other people. And people I'm down there putting stuff out into it. I know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. Alright, as said by God, what is God to be I'm saying it's correct. Absolutely. It's what I see when I get the chance when I work through the chance. It's the same too. I work in different areas of society level. When I get in there, then I bring it But I'm sensitive to a lot of brokenness as well. Yeah, but that's that's different. Like we can build relationships with people and help them and love them. I don't compromise the message. But you don't compromise. And if you work, say for example, they're broken. So okay, so let's say you've got a broken person, but they're Catholic. Are you going to go sit to preach at an abortion clinic with this person? That's my point. Yeah. I'm going to you. And so that's the point. And so you know, and that's what happened. I'm just trying to work out what position you're coming from. You know, because that's it. There's a lot of tension. Yeah, there was. Yeah. But it's fine. I fully endorse it. It's great. Brilliant. Now, now I've got now Every, now I know we're on the same team. Yes. We do different, different, different way of doing things. Same, same, same thing. Same truth. Yeah. Same gospel. Same way. Never got fear. Yeah, yeah. The Lord uses yeah. us in different ways. Your way is not necessarily going to be right for me, and vice versa. But as long as you have the same truth, oh. same objective, and you're it's not like compromising. Yeah. 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 Well, I got born again and then I didn't, you know, I, I cried out to Jesus he saved me, I got born again, I was a different person at the time. And then I went back to the same church I'd been in and I was like, oh, what's wrong with this place? I didn't know the Bible at that point. And then, uh, and so then eventually the Lord led me to scriptures and as I started reading, I was like, oh, wow. And the more the scriptures came alive and the more I could see the, the differences between what the church teach and what the... But before that, I'd gone in there so many times and I had an issue. And that's because I was dead. I was, yeah, I didn't know any better. Um, so are you, you're coming from the, 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 the black sheep of the family, yeah. second group rock and roll, yeah. and you have like, Sean, kind Sean, of background? Sean. Well, yes. Yeah, same with me. So, but yeah. mine's military and history. My son is in the elite. Huh? My son is just doing his P, okay, P test. Okay. <laughs> All right, well. for, for the For the, for the elite. All right. This week is his test week. So we'll see. We're just praying he passes. He's doing really good so far. He's got two more days left. If he passes this, then all he has to do is get his wings and his uh, parachute. Right. So, yeah. Red Beret, yeah? Red Beret, P Company. Yeah. Is that P Company now? P there? Company now, yeah. He's yeah, doing that, yeah. So, knows, uh, they put him on TikTok the other day, the yeah. army. P Company. Let me show you. Um, uh, I used to work for the, the Poppy Factory and Help Heroes. Yeah, the last job. Uh, Hopefully going back in there. Alright. Uh, so this is... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there we go. P Company, Two Miler, Parachute Regiment Training. And yeah, that's my son. Alright, cool. That's my son there. So, yeah, I'm a proud mummy. Right, yeah. you are. Fighting for the colours. Yeah. Well, well I, I wanted to fight for the for the King of Kings. Is he a Christian though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got born again when he was 16. He gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning. To spend has, he time. Tapped, has he tapped into uh, 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 Armed Forces Christian Union? Um, I think he's. Or in, I'm not sure. I think he's in touch with some people. Armed Forces um, Christian Union is the 
is the is the military uh, coordinator for all the Christians in the Alps. Yeah, I think he got. And then the Safa as well. Oh, I mentioned it to him. He gets up at five every morning to spend time with the Lord in prayer and reading his word so that he gets up time. I was, I was the one that helped pioneer a new Christian movement for Christian Christians in the military that came out with the Christian veterans. And there's never been anything for Christian uh, veteran Christians in whole history. Oh, no, I mentioned it to him. The whole of history, England history, it's Christians that come out and the uh, veterans of Christ. And so, so I was pioneered that with the establishment of a long story. Yeah. But uh, Armed Forces Christian Union are the coordinator and I used to work with them for all the Christians that are in the military to come out to get support when they come out. Yeah. But um, yeah, there is a lot in, in there. And there's a power. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, no, I mentioned it to him. He taps in with, it, in with them, so anywhere they'll go, they'll link him up with other Christians in, in, in the unit or the civilian, uh, civilian uh, territory of where he was posted. Yeah, so um, I mentioned it to him. I know that he's in Christian con unit. Yeah, What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, nice to meet you. Nice God to bless. meet you. God bless. Keep on yeah. preaching, yeah? Thank you. Wherever they put you, they put you over there. Carry on preaching. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah.